Hi there, it's Rachel from scrappinandhappy.blogspot.com with another Let's Get Crafty video. Today we're going to be making this 3D birdhouse. It's made with um, paper from my stash and my uh, Cricut Design Studio, uh, mini monograms, serenade cartridge, Georgian basic shapes, and Sizzix flower dye and um, a little greenery from the storybook cartridge. Um, all combined, the box f is a cut file that comes from Jen C. She gave me permission to create some videos with some of her projects, so why don't we get started and I'll show you how to make this some um, cute little bird box. So in Jen C's cut file, uh, it will um, have everything to make this birdhouse. So here's the template here. This is what it will look like. This is cut out using George and then on another page you cut two separate uh, pieces as well and this is for the roof and for the base of the um, birdhouse. Now Jen C suggests and gives a really good tutorial to explain how she does scoring with her Cricut and turning um, an old blade upside down to do the scoring, but I like using my score tool and that's how I made this very first sample, so that's what I'm going to do with you guys today. So what you just do, I'm using my score pal and I'm just scoring where all the tabs, tabs are and just taking my time so that you can see and line everything up. do the roof here. Now of course if you use Gen C's method you would be able to just have your Cricut do it for you but I don't know there's something said for making it feel a little more handmade and hand loved. <laughs> so uh, I like to do all the tabs first and just one more over here. And it still amazes me that this is something that she is able to design and imagine in a 2D format and turn it into a well-made 3D project. Okay, so there are all the pieces. So tabs of the roof, all four parts of the box, and the tabs at the bottom in there. Okay, and the roof is cut out and it has a hole already for you. So try to center the hole on a line and score that as well. Okay, so there's the roof. Now, the thing about scoring and your bone folder is you can get nice crisp folds so your box goes really nicely together. Now the paper that I'm using for this is this, this pattern paper here is from American Crafts. It's um, old and I've had it in my stash for a while, but I continue to use my stash to create projects. So there you go. There's all the bottom there and the two roofs to the top. And I can put this away now. I don't need this. And I just use my glue gun to assemble this. So what I do. Um, is just th the box in terms of to get the initial birdhouse shape is all you have to do is put glue on this tab here and the reason why I like to use my glue gun is because it doesn't dry it dries quickly but not too quickly that you can't get it lined up onto the box there so there you go there's the, the basic shape really quickly Okay, and then because it doesn't have a lot of stability until you put the base on, I'm going to put the base on. Now this paper was just paper from my stash, actually from my scrap collection. I believe it's basic gray, but I have no idea. But the whole idea is I'm encouraging you and myself to use things that you already have in your stash to create projects. Today was a rainy day and I've been stuck indoors for quite a while I was looking forward to myself to getting out of the house 
I was going to go do some browsing at scrapbooking stuff, but I'm still on my shopping ban till the end of this month. So I decided to come into my scrap room and see what I can do by shopping in my stash. Okay, so there you go. There is the base. And now, it just you can see, it's a lot more stable. Now, if you wanted to, you could probably turn this into a little box with um, cute little treats and things in it. But um, I'm just going to use it as a little uh, spring decoration. So I didn't do this with the first one, but I thought I would try and do some inking just to make it a little bit more... interesting. There. This gives it a little bit more depth and I'll do the same thing to the roof here. going to go on top like that. Okay, so um, before I do that, I'm going to take some ribbon, again just from my stash, it's that Michael's satin ribbon. I'm going to tie a knot at the bottom. This hole's pretty big though, so I'm going to stick it through here, and then just so there's no chance of it popping out, I'm going to take a bit of tape And tape that in like that and you're not going to see it anyways because it's going to be on the inside of your box okay so then I am going to put a glue stick in my glue gun here of course it runs out on video okay so I'm going to put my glue on the tip of the tab here and it down. Oh, now, I'm not happy with where I put that. Let's see if I can fix it. I want to put the ledge more on to the front. There. So, maybe what might be better is when you do this is to do one side first. So you can get it with some overlap a bit better. And then you can squeeze in and do the back. So there is, okay, um, now the next step is to um, decorate your box. So this bird is, I just cut it out, I took the thread from the box here and I used the um, serenade cartridge to cut out this bird. So what I'm just doing is putting foam dots over here on the bird and just putting it just slightly over the top of the hole so it looks like the birds oh, foam square just so it looks like the bird is flying over okay like so and then this little greenery comes from the storybook cartridge. So I will glue that down. And then this little yellow flower I made last night when I was just having fun. Um, 
needing something to do but not wanting to do a big project is from the Sizzix uh, Rose Dye. So just put a little glue on that and put that down here. And there is the completed box using your uh, Cricut um, Design Studio, uh, Mini Monograms, Georgian Basic Shapes, and Gen Z's uh, Cut File. These are a lot of fun to make. So many different potential ideas that you could do with these things. So thank you so much for joining me uh, for this episode of Let's Get Crafty, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.